Hey what's up Musers, this is John at Muse for You, and in this video I'm going to be creating a sliding down parallax menu. So when you scroll down the page the menu comes in from the top, and when you scroll back up the menu disappears. Alright, so let's begin. So I actually got inspired to create this tutorial um, from one of Adobe Muse's websites of the day. Uh, it was called Munch Magazine. And if you scroll down, the menu kind of pops in. We'll just wait till it loads a little bit. You scroll down and the menu pops in. Now I was really impressed by this effect. But yeah, you scroll down and that menu pops in. So the first thing I thought was, how did they do this? So I went in, I spent some time, and this is the website here. Um, if I hit Command Shift E, I scroll down, and that menu pops up. I scroll back up, and the menu disappears. So I'll just recreate this website in Adobe Muse. I'll go to File, New Site, click OK, and there we go. So I'll just delete this extra space here at the top. So the first thing we want to do is create the menu. So we go to Object, Insert Widget, menu horizontal and we just paste it in there and then for the menu type we say manual so we can add more menu items and I'm just gonna create the menu real quick okay so now I have my menu created and I'm just going to kinda of place it a little bit differently right there and just drag it so that there's the menu buttons and there's more space between the menu buttons now the next thing I'm going to do is create a background picture because I want to leave my uh, my menu text white so I want to create a background image so we can see that um, that text and I'm just gonna fill this rectangle with an image and I'm gonna say scale to fill and position it in the center very good and in my layers panel I'm just gonna bring the rectangle below the menu so now if um, if I take out this gray background in the menu we can still see the white text. All right, and I just I'm gonna go to the different states and take off the backgrounds. Now uh, I want to change the text, so I'm gonna highlight the first menu item and go to Open Sans and change it to light. Open Sans light and 18. That looks a little bit better. Okay, so now for the fun part. Oh, and one more thing, we want to set this image. Uh, we want to give it kind of a parallax effect so that when you scroll the image stays in place uh, to do that you select the image you go to fill go to scroll go to motion and set everything to zero all right now if we preview this in, br in the browser we hit command shift e and we scroll the image stays in place and we have a cool kind of scrolling effect there so now for the main part of the video uh, to have a menu come in from the top so what we want to do is I'm gonna create a 100 in height rectangle 100% width and you can put this pretty much anywhere on the page not too far from the top menu but you know this should be fine uh, and then I want to fill this uh, rectangle I want to make it um, white and I want to fill it with my logo in the middle because if you remember from our website as you scroll down the menu comes in and then this white I mean the logo appears here and we have our uh, menu there so there there's that and I'm gonna go to fill add image and I'm gonna select logo 7 that's the logo I want to put in the middle and that's my muse for you logo and I'm gonna center it and I'm gonna say scale to fit and it'll just scale it to fit inside this 100 uh, height um, rectangle so now if I preview this in the browser we just have this bar in the middle that doesn't look very good um, so what I want to do is select this rectangle and uh, I'm gonna go to scroll effects and I'm gonna set the motion um, to first the initial motion one and I'm gonna have it come in from uh, from the top down so I'm gonna select this button here not from the bottom to the top but from the top to the bottom and 
then uh, set the final motion to zero and set the key position right to the top of this uh, rectangle so that when it comes down and it hits the key position it stops at the top of the browser so now if we preview this in the browser we hit command shift E and we scroll that men that pops in all right and we see it's not completely flush with the top of the rectangle so that there that should do it and so now we scroll it comes in from the top and once it hit the key it hits the key position it stops scrolling so it stays at the top all right so that's that's the effect <clears throat> and now I want to copy this menu into into this area so we have the menu there as well so I'm gonna hit command C and then command V to copy uh, to copy and paste and just place it in there and now I'm gonna change the text of this um, menu to um, let me copy it from this website it's this nice pink uh, I like to use so I'm gonna just grab the the hex code right over here copy and I'm gonna go back to this one and then I'm gonna go to the text color add a new swatch and paste and there we go uh, now you might notice that um, we have the logo here and the menus covering the logo so what I did to fix this is I just added another menu item and then deleted what was inside there so now we have the menu options on the left and on the right and the logo stays clear alright so now we also have to add the same scroll effect to this menu so that it comes in together so I just highlight this bar I look at the uh, the options so it's one the um, key position is 342 and the final motion is zero so I set the same thing to the menu click motion no first select the menu then click motion set it to one zero have it coming from the top to the bottom and I think it was 352 and set the final motion to zero uh, it wasn't three it was 342 so set the key position to 342 and there we go so now th they have the same scroll motion so we hit if we hit command shift E and we scroll perfect we get that nice effect that looks really nice and if you want to make it slower to even add more effect just set the uh, initial motion for both of them to like 0.5 and that'll add a really cool effect as well and you can have them come in at different speeds too um, that looks pretty cool too it's like whoop coming in or you can have them both come in at the same speed There you go, perfect. So now I'm just gonna copy some of the content from the original one. I'm just gonna copy all this. Uh, here, I'll just copy this and paste it and just kind of center it just so I don't have to do all of it all over again. It's not giving me the, um, there we go, that should be fine. If I hit Command Shift E, we have that cool, oh yeah, and you see how things cover the menu you want to make sure that your menu and this bar are at the top see they're here at the bottom so things are going over it so you want to make sure in your layers panel they're at the very top so now if I hit command shift E you won't have things going over it everything will be under it alright and I also had kind of a footer here I'll, I'll just create it real quick um, actually I can just go to my site and just copy this here and just paste it yeah, I'll delete this and just had a nice footer here at the bottom and that's it how to create a sliding down parallax menu alright shout outs to the munch website that I got inspired from readmunch.co and uh, yeah that's pretty much it, it for this video thanks for watching this video on how to create a sliding down parallax menu uh, if you like this video please subscribe below um, on Tuesday I upload a new video Wednesday I do a live Q&A Thursday I review Adobe Muse websites of the day to get some inspiration and, and ideas and you know to give myself and you ideas for Adobe Muse websites and Friday I have a live discussion um, I might only do live discussion uh, live discussions once a month now uh, just to get more people into the classes uh, but yeah um, I do these videos to help you create Adobe Muse websites. You know, I feel like it's a great platform to let you, a great piece of software 
um, to let you create awesome websites with no code. Uh, so thanks for watching and check out the description below for uh, links to uh, web hosting, uh, widgets through Muse Themes, uh, photos through Dollar Photo Club, and my Skillshare classes on Skillshare.com where I have all my classes in sequence and some other free resources down in the description below. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.